When I, when I was in prayer this morning, Pastor Benny, the Lord brought to me and he said that there are 52 weeks in a year. There are 52 weeks in a year. I want every single individual that is, that, that's in their capacity, and, or, or if they can't, they need to get the closest to it. I want them to stretch out their faith, and I would like them to sow a $52 seed for 52 weeks of favor for the rest of this year. I just want to encourage every one of us to realize when we obey God, we're not doing it for God. I mean, that's one way to look at it. We're doing it for ourselves because God takes pleasure when we're happy. That's the thing that gives him the greatest joy this morning. So I want you to know this morning, just do good for your own self. Do good because God wants you to be happy. When you come to church, when you worship him, you're not doing it for God, really. You're doing it for yourself. Because that's what makes God happy. Amen. When we really begin to understand that, that, that when Jesus Christ paid the price, the first thing that happened after he said it is finished is the veil was rent from top to bottom, signifying that no man could do that. But the price that was paid was there's now no separation. So that we have direct access in the Holy of Holies. We understand, according to Hebrews, that Jesus is our high priest. Absolutely. And he's the first of many brethren, which means I I now come into a priestly anointing. So I now can say that again because now, they don't get it. I now come into a priestly anointing. Jesus is not the only begotten on. son of God. He is not. I'm a son of he's God. He's the first fruit. If you've, you're the, he's the first fruit. He's the first born of many. Anointing. Jesus is not the only begotten on. son of God. He is not. On, Those buddy. thorns are a symbol of debt in Hebrew, of mm -hmm. debt, right. poverty, and lack. Televangelist Jesse Duplantis says God himself told him it's time for an upgrade. He said, I want you to believe me for a Falcon 7X. So I said, okay. A Falcon 7 jet like this one to preach to more people around the world. And he's asking his followers for the $54 million. I really believe that if Jesus was physically on the earth today, he wouldn't be riding a donkey. As I was going home, the Lord real quickly, he said, Jesse, do you like your plane? Now, you know, I thought that's an odd statement. He gave, I said, well, certainly, Lord. He said, do you really like it? And I thought, well, yes, Lord. He said, then he said this, so that's it? I didn't know how to handle that for me. I went, what? He said, you're going to let your faith stagnate? And when he said that, that shocked me. I went, whoa, wait. I literally unbuckled my seatbelt, my plane. I stood up. My pilots looked around and said, do you need something? I said, no, no, I'm talking to God right now. And he, just, <laughs> and he went back to flying. I said, Lord, I don't think I was letting my faith stagnate. He said, so this is all I could ever do. I said, you want, you, you're you trying to tell me something. He said, go to the book of Amos. So if you had the book of Amos, I want to read may, the scripture. May I right interrupt now. you there yes, for sir. a second? Mm -hmm. You couldn't have done that on an airliner. No, sir. No way. Stand up and say, what'd you say, Lord? No. Okay. No. Yeah. And the guy sitting over there saying, what the hell does he think he's doing? <laughs> you can't do you that. You can't do that. No, no. That, this, this is so important. You can't manage that today. Right. The, this dope-filled world. Right. And get in, an air, get in a long tube with a bunch of demons. Right. That's exactly the And it's, it's deadly. And, and it works on your heart. It really does. So I, anyway, I, I wanted to make that clear so the devil can't lie to you and say, see that, them preachers spending yeah. all that money, just, just fat cats riding around. No, we're not. We're